In this section, we're going to create our landing page. Now let's go to the theme wagon link that is in the description below and download the theme. To be completely transparent with you guys, I went ahead and fast forwarded this part because I had to fish around for the link and a different email address I've entered in previously because I just didn't get this link until later on in this video and I didn't want to go back and redo everything, download, unzip because it's very simple. Just download and unzip the, the file that was sent to you. Okay, now I placed it on my desktop for easier access. Now double click the file that you just downloaded and double click on index so you'll see the landing page that we're going to create. As you see, this is a fully responsive and an animated thing, which I really like. Now let's go into our Rails app and let's head on over to our gem file. Now before we do anything, let's go ahead and clean up our gem file by getting rid of all of these grade comments because we don't need them. Now what I'm doing here is I'm clicking on the lines that the comments are on while keeping my finger on command so it can go ahead and highlight all of the lines that I'm clicking on so I can delete them all at the same time just to make my life a little more simple. Now since this is a bootstrap theme, that uses Font Awesome, we need to add the two gems, the Bootstrap Staz and the Font Awesome Rails. Now go to your terminal and run Bundle to install the gems. Okay, now let's go back to the app. Click on App. Assets, right click on style sheets and create a new folder called theme. You can name it whatever you like, but I just used theme since we're using a bootstrap theme. Now go to the bootstraps folder and drag all of its CSS contents and place them into your new theme folder. Now click on application.css and we're going to require these particular themes or CSS I should say that we just dragged into our theme folder. And we need to put them in in the order that they are listed in our app in order for it to work correctly. So we're going to type star equal space require space theme and the dash or the slash. Now to keep my life a little more simple I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to start typing out the names of the, the files. First with animate.min, then bootstrap.min, then fontawesome.min, and lastly, template-mo-style, and we're done. Now go ahead and save and close those files. Now go back up to assets, right click, and create a new folder called fonts. Now return to your Bootstraps folder and drag everything into your new Fonts folder. Now because we're adding a lot of different extensions into our Assets folder, we need to add the extensions into our Assets pipeline. Now scroll down to Config, Initializers, and to Assets.rb. Now we're going to type this in rails.application.config.assets.precompile space plus equals space percentage w parentheses space star.png space star.gif gif space star.jpg JP, JPG space star.ico space star.svg space star.elt space star.ttf space star.woff space and star.woff2. Now save your file. 
Okay, now let's find our index.html in your bootstrap folder and double click on it if you haven't done so already. Right click on the page and click on view page source. Now copy the first link here down to the script and go back to your app. Click on views, layouts, application.html.erb and paste those contents within the head. Now while we're here, we're going to go ahead and change our title. So I just went ahead and put Cpreneur in. Of course, whatever the name of your business is, that's the name that you're going to use. That way, when you open the tab, you're not going to see landing or whatever you named your app. Instead, you're going to see the name of your business. Okay, now save that. Go to your terminal and start your server. Now go to your web browser and hit refresh and see what we have. Okay, now we don't have too much progress, but we're getting there. We, we see something changing just a bit. At least we now have a black background instead of a white background. So we're getting somewhere. Now head back to your project on pages and index.html.erb. Let's go back to the index source file and copy the entire body. And go back to your index.html.erb and paste everything there. Now save the file and refresh your server. And now we see a little change. We see the loading icon, which is good, which means we're on the right track. Now let's go back to our Rails app. Let's make this just a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and right click on JavaScript and create a new file called, or sorry, create a new folder called theme. Now go back to your Bootstraps folder, locate your JavaScript folder, which is named JS, and drag everything in this content to your new theme folder in your JavaScript. And let's go ahead and take off the images as well and drag that into our images folder. As you can see, we have all the images there, everything that we need at the moment. Now the same way we had to require the new contents in our application.css file, we have to do the same in our application.js file. So open that up and under the jQuery line, add slash slash space, require space theme slash, and then the name of the JavaScript in the order that they are placed in your file. Now open your web browser and type in rubygems.org. And in the search bar, search for popper underscore js. When you find it, go ahead and copy the gem and go back to your gem file in your app. Scroll all the way down and add your new popper gem. Now open your terminal and stop your server. I'm going to clear my terminal just so you can see a little better and run the bundle. Okay, now let's restart the server. And refresh our browser to see what we have now. Now you see we have the foundation for our landing page, but we don't have the photos yet or 
the animation because we haven't done anything yet to point our browser to the directories in our files that, that we just created. So we are done with this video and we are one step closer to having a fully functional landing page. Now the next video we're going to tackle the JavaScripts and CSS. See you guys in the next one.